Hey, how's it going? Today I will show you the easy way how you can install TVMate application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. So first of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. It's actually free to download either from the Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store. To do so, we just go to search on our device. Here it is. We click on it. And now a search bar is going to open. Yep, here it is. Here we just have to type the loader. Usually there is even no need to enter the whole name of the app because as you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the application that you need to download to your device. However, after you download the app, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. To do so, we'll just go to settings, then go to my Fire TV. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. In that case, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now what you have to do is click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. Now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer, and for you it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and turn that option on for the downloader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, click on it. And here we have the downloader application. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing and is of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast they update their app all the time, as you can see now, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. It would literally cost you like a cup of coffee per month. So what a VPN does, you just connect to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your internet traffic is going to be encrypted, so nobody could track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble, especially when internet laws are getting stricter and stricter every day. So if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go get those 4 months for free and enjoy NordVPN. And a safe internet, of course. Now we can finally safely use the loader, so let's open it up. Here on the left side menu, make sure to select Home, and then in the search bar we have to type a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907, and then you press on Go. And now, in a couple of seconds, a website is going to open. Now, when the web page has opened, we have to scroll down a bit until we see that list of categories. And what we are looking for here is the IPTV Player's category. Let's click on it. And then a huge list of apps is going to open, but since we are looking for TV Mate today, that's the button that you have to click. So we click on it. Then, if any ad opens up for you here, make sure to click on close, because if you click on open, it's going to mess everything up for you. So just click on close. And now the new web page has finally opened, so we just have to scroll down a bit. And we keep scrolling until we see those download buttons. As you can see, there's the usual download button, as well as a backup download link at the bottom, which you can use in case if that button does not work for you for some reason. So now we click on the download button, and now the download has started. Click on install here in the right bottom corner. And after the app has been installed, do not press on open yet. Instead, click on done, because here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore. So click on delete and delete once again. Now let's finally go to the list of apps on our device, then scroll to the bottom. And here's the TVMate app, which we just installed. Now I recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, then press on Move to Front, and this way you are going to place TVMate application at the very top of your application list, so it's going to be very easy to access the app every time you need it. Then, once again, don't forget to use a VPN when streaming something online to stay out of trouble, and don't forget about a special offer for NordVPN, which we currently have. Click a link in the pinned comment below and you'll get 4 months totally for free, which is great. Now let's finally safely open TVMate application. And here, what you have to do is click on the Add Playlist button to add a playlist from your provider. You can use the usual M3U playlist, 
you would click on that button, enter a link and press on next. However, there's also an option to use Axiom codes. Here you would enter the link, a username and a password to your service. This app is really straightforward. And pretty much that's it, that's the easiest way to get TVMate to your Fire Stick.